All right, so in today's Subnautica video, we're going to be looking at the Beyblade class submarine mod, which is a very, very new submarine mod, just like the Amarok submarine mod that we were just looking at the other day. You know, as far as criticism go, just try to be extremely helpful, like as helpful as you can, so that the mod can turn out as best as it can possibly the can, I guess. So with all that being said, let's get to it. All right, so here we have our brand new Beyblade class submarine. Awesome looking precursor submarine. I really like the design overall, and I'm probably gonna talk about it a whole lot throughout this video. Quite literally, it might be one of my favorite looking submarine mods. So this submarine doesn't have nearly as many lights all over it, you know, as the Amrock one did, but it does have a lot more like precursor engravings all over the submarine, giving it a pretty nice texture overall. And then we got this big old, I think this is the hatch right here hold on let me see oh no those are the upgrades okay the upgrades are right here on the top of the submarine we have five upgrades totals so that's nice the main exterior lights on the submarine are located like near the back of the submarine as we can see right here with the you know like rear engine lights which looks sort of like that of the blade class submarine and then at the top we can see all these other line lights all around which all looks super nice overall the front of the submarine is really really spiky i will say it looks almost like a spaceship if i'm being completely honest looks like something you would see like straight out of star wars at least the, the design part of this submarine at least you know i'm not sure what these little things are on these sides but they do look kind of nice overall as far as like detailing goes uh, what is that circle thing can i do anything with that Oh, that's the vehicle battery. All right, so we got the vehicle battery on the left side. And is there one on the right side? There surely is. All right, so the vehicle batteries for this thing are on the left and right hand side. If we look on the interior of the Beyblade, there's also some nice attention to detail here. So we can see that there's like a little terminal right here. Although there's not one on the left side, there's only one on the right side. So I guess it's maybe like a, I don't know, like a one arm control type of thing. You only control the submarine with one arm, which would be kind of funny to look at. And then if we look behind this seat right here, we can also see some extra precursor detailing behind the seat and around it to this nice little attention to detail that's on the inside of the submarine the mod creator didn't have to include but included it anyway and i can appreciate that adds a lot more depth to the submarine overall and i really like that and this is also what the new little spot looks like because again i did record that video like a day before this mod got another update so this is what the new what that new spot looks like and that's where the arm would actually go now i don't have the specific mod installed that you need to get the arms to work but it is important to note that for the arms, like for you to have the buildable arms for the specific submarine, you do need to have the VF framework mod installed like for the arms to actually work. So do just keep that in mind. Ah, okay, there's storage on the top too. I didn't even see that. Okay, that's my fault. So we got a little storage module up here. So let's see, oh my gosh, it's got ton of, ton, huh, another mother load of storage we got on the back of the submarine. Is there a Okay, so there's two things of storage on the back of the submarine. If you click near the back, you'll access one storage which says zero right here. There's a ton of storage in here. And if you click near the front, you'll see another one that says one. So there's there are two storages right here, although it is a little bit hard to see. So maybe there could be like a little green light that sort of like separates the two storages so it's a little bit easier to differentiate like which one is which now moving to the upgrades we saw that the base step for the submarine is 300 meters first step module increased the max step to 900 meters second one increases it to 1300 meters and the third one increased it to another 4800 meters which is super super deep you'll be able to take the submarine again virtually anywhere on the subnautica map as far as handling goes the submarine moves pretty fast yeah it doesn't take that long to get to like a good speed in this thing and even then it does move at a pretty decent speed as well i can turn pretty well in this thing not really having any issues with that so overall it's really well let me drive it around a little bit more before i say something so the beyblade isn't super super fast but it also isn't is by no means slow either it moves at a pretty pretty decent speed i would say it turns pretty well so overall the handling on this thing is really smooth i haven't really i'm not really running into any issues here and the cockpit view for the submarine is actually really nice because it's like really really visible like i can see basically everything in front of me so it needs one titanium ingot ion cube copper wire and two advanced wiring kits that's a little a little bit cheaper than i imagined it i was sort of thinking it was going to require like a plus steel ingot or something rather than a titanium ingot but you know it's whatever so it's relatively cheap to make so overall the performance and technicalities of the submarine is pretty you know pretty smooth i'm not really running into any major bugs or anything of that nature everything looks pretty nice on the inside and also handles pretty well now because the description of the submarine says small and agile you know architect submersible i feel like it should be just a little bit faster because precursor submarines in general you know they're a lot more again they're a lot more advanced what was i about to say what the altera corporations like capable of with their vehicles 
So I feel like this one should be especially a lot faster. Well, not a lot faster, but you know, just a little bit faster since it's a precursor submarine. So it's gonna be a little more advanced and it'd probably be a lot faster overall. That's about the only thing I would really change with this thing. But other than that, I really like the submarine overall, especially the design. The design of the outside, the way this looks, this gorgeous, absolutely amazing design. I imagine this submarine will probably be like really useful if you're heading into like a tight cave or something like that. So maybe like the Jelly Shroom Caves or something of that general nature, because it's a really small submarine, but it can also go pretty deep. So overall, I think the submarine does have a use in like a survival playthrough, but I probably wouldn't use it right now in a survival playthrough since it's still like super new and you know, it could just get all buggy out of nowhere. So, you know, I'll probably wait till like a super stable version of this mod comes out before actually using it in your survival game, you know, just in case it like breaks or something while you're using it. But yeah, this is the Beyblade Precursor Submarine, super, super awesome mod. And I would definitely keep an eye on this one for the future because it is still going to get updated again, most likely. That is about all I had for y'all. Thank you all for watching. I hope y'all enjoyed and I will see y'all in the next one. Peace.